All right, guys. So we're taking a little break from UFC Undisputed Forever today. And since Canelo's fight isn't too, it wasn't that long ago, only about a week removed, um, with his win over Hame Mungia. Sorry, I had to go check out my cat real quick. Sometimes he likes to be naughty. Um, since, you know, Canelo just got his win pretty recently, I decided I would do a career mode in uh, Fight Night Champion. So first up, we are going to go into our Amateur Championship, see how we can do in this tournament. Also, I I don't know, um, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do of this. Let's touch gloves. Yeah, I, I really don't know because... You know, this career mode could last a while. You could easily have like over 50 fights. And boxing matches tend to be a bit longer than MMA matches. You know, unless you're uh unless you're able to get your opponent out of there like really quick. Nice little straight. Yeah. I'm going to try to fight kind of like Canelo, too. So he likes to use a lot of counters. He'll kind of stand in the pocket, block, and then kind of get a read on his opponent. Just lean back. Sometimes he'll just throw a naked left hook to the head, kind of like that. Mix it into the body. He'll do kind of this uh, double jab to like a lead hook, or I'm sorry, like a rear hook. Either to the body or to the head. Some jab, jab, hook. Jab, jab. Jab, jab, hook. Left hook to the head. He also likes his, uh... His, like, rear uppercut. He's not doing it for some reason. I guess this also gives me a good chance to uh, kind of get my thoughts on where Canelo is in his career so far. And uh, I guess if he has anything else that he really needs to accomplish. Because I know Canelo's not super old. And he's only 33 right now. And I don't know how long he wants to continue fighting. But you look at his accomplishments, man. This dude has done a lot within a relatively short time of boxing. Or not really a short time, because he has been boxing professionally since he was 15. So he's got almost 20 years under his belt, but people kind of forget just how long he's been in the boxing game because of how young he is. Like, he's pretty young all things considered, but the amount of experience he has is just insane. Like, you know, Hame Mungia was, what was he, like 43-0? and And, you know, he was the younger guy. Had a good amount of fights under his belt, but Pinello, like, I think he had on paper, had like literally twice the amount of experience that Hame did. Nice little straight there. I'm gonna be using some power. Let's see if I can knock some people down. You know, my initial thoughts... I thought Canelo looked good. But... And, you know, feel free to chime in in the comments below, but I feel that Canelo is it's kind of slowing down a bit. You know, it's not a lot, but it is enough to be a little noticeable. I'm yeah, knocking down. Maybe. Nah. He survives. You know, he he uh, did knock down Hame Mungia in the fourth round. 
Yeah, that was kind of the highlight, or the, one of the really big moments of that fight. But, you know, Hame did good. He managed to actually fight back. Unlike a lot of Canelo's recent opponents, Hame was actually there to try to win, rather than just collect the paycheck. Which I can, you know, appreciate. That's very commendable. The young guy that he is. He's definitely looking to prove himself against, you know, the argu arguably the biggest star in boxing today. And he had his moments. You know, he looked good, especially in the first couple of rounds. He looked really good. It's just Canelo just had that experience factor. And, you know, even though Hame had good power, he just couldn't seem to hurt Canelo uh, the same way Canelo was able to hurt him, you know. But I think Canelo, he, I think his age is kind of starting to get to him. His style's kind of changing. He right, doesn't gentlemen. seem to Protect yourselves at all times. have a killer instinct. I I think um, it could be a couple things, man. It could be age. It could be maybe just lack of motivation. It could be his years of boxing finally catching up to him but um i feel like if it was a younger canelo you know like the canelo that we've seen like from 2018 through like 2021 that was running through everyone in the middleweight division i feel like that version of him would have been able to finish hame mongia and not go to a decision you know But, you know, looking back at what Canelo's been able to accomplish in his career, man, he's the only fighter in boxing history to unify all belts within the super middleweight division. You know, he, he actually unified all those belts within a year. People forget about that. Um, let's see, the names that he's fought, you know, Triple G, Miguel Cotto, Mayweather, um, James Kirkland, Mir Khan. He's fought some really big names, man. Danny Jacobs is another good one. And, you know, it, it's kind of crazy that he's fought all these guys. And, you know, obviously, he hasn't won every one of his fights, but... You know, with a record of 61 and 2. It's not too shabby. I... I would honestly think... Or I feel that I would want to see Canelo retire fairly soon, though, to be honest. Because I don't... He really doesn't have anything else to accomplish. He's won belts in four different divisions. He's unified the, the uh, division that he's fighting in right now. I don't want to see him go up to light heavyweight. I think the guys there are just way too big. And his power just doesn't translate. I'm gonna hurt this dude to the body. He's so low on stamina. Whew. He's southpaw is throwing me off. Ah. That kind of slowed him down. I know people want to see him fight Benavidez, or I know he's talked about wanting a rematch with Dimitri Bivol, but I don't want to see him move up to light heavyweight, man. Honestly, I feel like I feel like he could have retired after he unified all the belts at super middleweight. You know, like that win over Cable Plant. That would have been a really good send-off to just retire. Like, it wasn't really going to get much better than that, you know? But that's just my opinion. I mean, the dude's a multi-millionaire. He's probably a billionaire in, in uh, Mexico, to be honest. With the conversion rate. 
Because he earns millions upon millions in U.S. dollars every time he fights, but... He lives in Mexico, so... You know, you convert U.S. dollars to pesos in Mexico. Makes him even richer. Yeah, he doesn't have to fight. I'm glad that he does every now and then, but... I also don't want to see him fight too long to where, you know, guys he shouldn't be losing to start beating him. But, you know, he eats your own. If he feels good and he feels like he can compete against these guys, you know, who am I to say no? I think we gotta win two more fights to win this amateur tournament. I'm gonna see if I can get at least one knockout in, in this tournament. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the um title mode with max holloway i know i didn't win we went over the and i'm so kind of sour room. about that Let's have a good clean fight. i might actually try up. that again to be honest because <laughs> i i am a very prideful man if i feel that i can do something i will try like again and again in order to accomplish what i want you know got him hurt already Had him hurt, but not many of my punches actually went through his block. Leading 12 to 1, 13 to 1 now. Nice little hook. Alright, I think if I'm going to get a knockout, it's probably going to be against this guy. I'll focus on his body a bit. I don't want to fall behind on points, you know. Ah. Uh, nice. Ah. Just really focusing up here. Oh, ho, ho, there it is. Finally, a knockdown. Nice. Alright, let's see. Good start, good start. Oh, dang, did I cut him too? Wait, did I cut him through that thing? Through his headgear, I cut him? Oh yeah, on his He's nose. Alright, let me see if I can counter punch a little. You know, if you guys don't necessarily want a career mode, I can also just try to find some online matches as well. Those might be a bit lengthy as far as video time. Because, you know, boxing rounds, they're like 10 rounds online. Each round's 3 minutes. Anytime you do a match, you know, it's not really going to be quick, especially if your opponent's good. You're going to be in there for a while. And I don't know if, if uh, a lot of my audience has the patience to watch like a 30 minute match. Can I get him? There it is. All right. I don't want this guy to survive. I don't want it to go to the scorecard. Boom. Oh. Is he going to get up? Here we go. Yeah. I, I honestly don't know if this is going to be a series. Because, honestly, I've posted other Fight Night Champion, you know, content on this channel. And people, like, audience, they don't really have as much interest in it, to be honest. 
And yeah, to each their own. It is a pretty old game, but then again, so is UFC Undisputed. Okay, listen. It's going to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. You know, if you guys don't want to see this at all, you know, I don't have to play this. I just try to do this just to add some variety to the channel. I want to stick to, like, mostly combat-related games, but I might throw in, like, a story mode, you know, um, game every now and then. Jab, jab, hook. Oh, almost timed that left hook. Whew, both traded. My reach is kind of throwing me off. It's a bit of a handicap. It's a bigger, taller dude. I don't have much time left to drop this dude. Ah. Nice little body. Ah, I don't want him going the distance. It's kind of sad that I've knocked him down twice, but I haven't been able to finish him. Damn, how did that straight miss? No, he's going to go the distance. I'm not going to get a knockout. I choked. Look at all that blood that's on our shirt. Another reason I wanted to kind of play this game is because I've been rewatching a lot of old Canelo fights too. You know, my, my favorite fight of his is his second fight between Triple G. That was like, honestly, that's one of my favorite boxing matches ever. You know, it, it's up there with um, Mickey Ward versus Arturo Gotti. All right, fellas. Let's have a good I can watch fight. that fight. Touch him up and you let's know, go. Like every day. The adjustments he was able to make from his first fight against Triple G to the second one was like astonishing. No one thought he would stay in the middle like he did. There's no denying that. He's in very tough tonight. This is a step up. Today's graduation. Thank that left hook. And if he succeeds here, nice. He a good job in his future. He used to have four rounds in this one. There, ah. Nice. A guy that has good head movement. Is that a real learned skill or does that come natural to guys? Now that's something that has to be taught, Joe. I'm gonna take a guy off the street, and I guarantee you, he'll go in there and throw punches. He might not last long, but he'll be throwing. But what he's not gonna do is understand how to make a guy miss. That's something that's acquired. Something that's taught. I'll work his body a bit too. Good solid right hand he lands there. Ah. Super two punch combo by Chico. Focus up. Uh, against. Oh, got him hurt. Got you hurt, Braddock. Brad Doc. Gotta get him down before. Oh, you're lucky. I was about to get that knocked down. You know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had to hurt. They get a little careless. They get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Keep those hands up, baby. Keep those hands up. Oh, missed. The uppercut works. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter. But I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the. My left hook missed, but his landed. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. I missed. Alvarez is at his best when the combinations are landing. Right hook. Well there with that combo. I'm definitely out landing him. Here's one for you now, he says. Right His combinations are pretty good. There's the combo to the body. But if Undisputed ever comes to console. If that ever happens, I will definitely play it on this channel. 
I'll do a full career mode. I'll do online matches. Left hook to the body. Then he comes back with I might make a triple G character for that game and just try to wreak havoc in the middleweight division because I doubt that Triple G is going to be in that one, unfortunately. But I will definitely make a character. And I'll try to do justice if I ever run into Canelo in that career mode, you know? And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know? And you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. One can dream. You gotta wait for your guy to wake up. You gotta wait for the cobwebs. Honestly, another game that I would like to play if I ever get my hands on it. It's kind of hard to come by, and it's a bit expensive because it's an older game. But the um, have you ever played Def Jam Fight for New York? That's another oldie but goodie that I enjoyed. You had all these rappers, right? Ice T, Ludacris, Snoop Dogg, all those rappers were playing, were like different characters in this fighting game. And you could mix up, a, you could have a bunch of different styles too, man. You could be a straight street brawler. You could be a martial artist, a submission specialist. Well, he's got to it. And depending on which ones that you decide to like mix up, you could have like a completely uh, unique skill set, you know? It's frustrating that I can rock these dudes, but I can't drop them. Damn. I'm outlanding him more than two to one, but I can't drop him. I can hurt him, but I really want to drop him. I want to have at least one knockout before this tournament ends, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. Solid straight right hand. But, 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 but. He didn't commit. A striking combination by Chico. Yeah. Left hook, power left hook. Another flush shot to the head. Damn, can't even hurt him now. Teddy, we know what the problem is. He's getting hit by left hands. Offer up the solution. Well, Joe, there's three lines of defense. Either you're blocking, punching, you're moving your head, or you're using his leg. The problem, he's not using any of those. Little head Damn. knocking with that right hand. How many power shots have I hit you with, man? Ah! How did that miss? Wow. That's crazy. Still couldn't finish him. I don't know. If I do another episode like this, I'll try to be a little more patient. I'll try to, like, use proper head movement. I'll try to fight a bit more like Canelo. I'll be a little more economical with my punches. Although, volume-wise, I am throwing roughly the same. Actually, no. Um, I'm throwing about, like, 20 more punches on average than what Canelo does in real life. But, oh, well. Let's see. Let's go to tournament results. 4-0. Fire of the tournament. Well, that's for middleweight. Hold on. What about all? Damn, this guy had two knockouts. That sucks. But if I go to middleweight, I mean. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that's really going to do it for this first episode. I'll dive into uh, the first professional bout in the next episode if I decide to record it. If you guys actually want to see it, I'll make it happen.
But uh, until then, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.